not a Benedict Arnold. I'm not a Benedict Arnold. Where am I? Who are you? I am someone who is very much like you, and I am here in your dream to tell you why. My name is Benedict Arnold. I am the man who many are comparing you to. I was an American general during the American Revol Revolutionary War. I gave my heart and soul to America. I even used my own money. They put me in debt and my, and my own time to train the poorly equipped troops of America. Together with an old friend of time, Radio Gates, we led the American forces against the British to win the Battle of Saratoga. Because of this victory, America was able to have an agreement with the French. But instead of honors and promotions, I was court martialed by the American government on charges of having used the troops for my own personal reasons. Political rumors, this was crazy. I was angry, not happy with the American government. I wanted revenge, so I turned to help the British, who in turn said they would help me and give me what America had taken from me, money. I had to give them information about the military base at West Point, and they would give me 25,000 pounds. George Washington found out the plan, so in so in 1781, I had to quickly escape to Britain to be safe because now I was considered to be a British spy. I wasn't a spy. I was in heavy debt because of the war and because of what I did for America. I was used and political rumors were killing me. To this day, opinions vary. Some say I am a hero and others say I'm a traitor. I'm gone now and have no way to prove the truth. So my wish for you is to do what is right but to do it the right way. Okay, this is weird. Listen, it, it wasn't supposed to be like this. I am only 29 years old. My name is Edward Snowden. Is now synonymous with you. Benedict Arnold. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I'm trying to do what is right. The U.S. government is not following its own constitution. How could I, in good conscience, allow the U.S. government to destroy privacy and basic liberties. The people of the con conversations, emails, they are all being monitored. Don't they deserve to know that? It's against the law. I let it go for so long. I was just really hoping that the awful surveillance programs, which began under George W. Bush administration, would be curtailed by President Bar Barack Obama. When the cell phone and internet surveillance programs were expanded by Obama, I felt compelled to expose them and protect America's private Americans' privacies. Okay, yes, I used my position with the CIA, but this isn't during the time of the American Revolution. The internet is such a huge part of our lives. I am a champion of internet freedom. I support online rights. Now I am being called a Russian spy. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the U.S. government didn't want their secrets out. Secrets out. I've done nothing wrong. I just don't want to live in a society that does these sorts of things. But don't you see? I know you don't want to be compared to me. But the fact is, you are modern to me. We both held positions that were meant to bolster U.S. security. We were trusted. We collected sensitive U.S. intelligence. The village did. We both fled our country because the U.S. government was after us. We can justify what we did and why we did it, but we can deny, but we can't deny that we both betrayed our country. Oh well, this is a this is a dream, but I am truly living a nightmare.